Lost Caverns of Ixalan previews are here, and that means it's time to make some videos about the best cards for Cube. In this video, I'm talking about the best cards for Popper Cube. And while there aren't many that got me excited, there are a few that I think could be great additions to your Popper Cube. If you also enjoy some regular unrestricted Cube, go ahead and check out my other most recent video where I break down my top 10 cards for Cube from Lost Caverns of Ixalan. First, we have an entire cycle of common lands, the Hidden Lands, which all feature the new mechanic Discover, which is kind of like a fixed cascade. They are otherwise just tapped monocolored lands that have the Cave subtype, which probably won't matter in anyone's cube, but it's there. Then for 5 mana and tapping and sacrificing the land, you can Discover 4, which means you exile the top of your library until you hit a non-land card with mana value 4 or less, then you can either cast it for free or put it into your hand. It's a great way to use your mana in the late game, and is extra good if you have a lot of scry or top deck manipulation. I don't think these lands are that powerful, but it's the kind of flexibility that I always enjoy putting into my cubes. Join the Dead is Dismember at home. But Dismember is not a common, which means Join the Dead fills an interesting slot. A very interesting slot. There are some pretty bad rates for cards that give minus 5 minus 5 specifically, and there are some cheap cards that have an extra step for giving minus 5 minus 5, but Join the Dead always does 5 for 3 mana, and only needs 4 permanent cards in your graveyard in order to effectively kill everything with a minus 10 minus 10. Is that worth it though? Well, it lands somewhere around Defile, Tragic Slip, Candy Grapple, and Tragic Fall, all of which have a smaller floor for killing something, but are not hard to be as good as Join the Dead. It's hard to tell if it's better or not, but I think it's worth considering if you run multiple spells like this. More options is never a bad thing. Okay, no one is out there playing Naturalize in their Popper Cube, at least not very many people, especially when there are plenty of creatures and better spells that can destroy an artifact or enchantment. But Over the Edge does my favorite thing, offers options. It can be a Naturalize, or it can do some card filtering and counter giving by having a creature explore twice. I think the flexibility of this card helps it to be considered for some spots in a cube, although it's important to keep in mind that artifacts and enchantments aren't normally a huge problem in Popper Cube, at least not most of them. Thousand Moons Infantry is an interesting card to say the least. There aren't many cards that have its untap effect. In a vacuum, it's not much different than Vigilance, however, there are some fun ways to use it for shenanigans. You can use Leonin Bola multiple times. You can Convoke multiple times. It gets around cards that would prevent it from untapping during your untap step by instead untapping on your opponent's untap step. You could run some interesting auras that grant tap abilities like Careful Cultivation or Prophetic Ravens or Presence of Gond. This card definitely has a place, and maybe it's not in your cube, but someone's going to be very excited by this, I think. Miner's Guidewing is proof that 1-1 white flyers for 1 mana are getting more and more pushed. This has flying, vigilance, and when it dies, target creature explores. That's a lot of text. Comparisons would be Fairy Guide Mother, Battlefield Raptor, Healer's Hawk, and of course Segovian Angel, of which this card is a strict upgrade. This little bird isn't a game changer, but it's a good choice if you have some white aggro going on and bonus points if you have counter synergy. As a bonus, I wanted to shout out Deep Goblin Skulltaker and Child of the Volcano. Both of these cards gets a counter on your end step if a permanent card was put into your graveyard from anywhere this turn. They also both have evasive keywords, Menace and Trample, respectively. They aren't standouts by any means, but they have both inevitability and evasion, which is sometimes enough. So, what did you think of my picks for Popper Cube? Or are there any other commons from this set that you'll be adding to your cube? Like I said, I didn't really see any that uh, excited me too much. It seems like most of the power was in the rares. But let me know in the comments below if you have other cards you're considering, and give the video a like if you enjoyed it, or got ideas for your own cube. See you in the next one!